So all of you are here for uh, GERCON TAP, Talent Accelerator Program, info. Good, good. Much better turnout than I thought. I like that. <laughs> yeah, we did move, sorry. I should probably give them some extra time because we did move to Stegosaurus from Brontosaurus. All right. Well, good afternoon. My name is Abraham Jones. I'm a senior information security engineer with Spectrum Health. Some of you probably know me from um, my ISSA. I'm the vice president of the local chapter um, here in Grand Rapids. And, uh, you know, this is something that we've been talking about inside of a lot of different organizations. Just getting a talent uh, program up and running just because Really, we have a lot of open positions and not many people to fill them. And then we have a lot of students that are coming out of school uh, just with a lot of book knowledge, but they're not getting the positions that we have open because they don't have either experience or hands-on training or all. Uh, there's a, a bunch of excuses that they use for it, I guess you'd say. But um, why we need this program is really because of that. Um, we want to, through the GERCON TAP, um, provide, you know, hands-on training, um, so hard skills, and also we would like to, through mentorship, teach you those soft skills as well. Um, a lot of the skills that some engineers just don't realize that we have to use on a day-to-day -day basis, is, which is the people skills. We're uh, all about influencing people. We have to have leadership skills. We have to have these these intangibles that allow us to be able to tell program managers, look, your application is insecure, this is what we need done, blah, blah, blah. So uh, with this, we also, you know, um, have a lot of talent that is in other areas outside of security that would just like to know how they get involved, how they get into the field. Um, wow, we went out, here we go. as well as what we do, what information security is really about. Um, some people think that our job is super glamorous and it's sexy, maybe it's like the Matrix or, I mean, a lot of people have a lot of different ideas. But with this program, that's um, what we would like to, you know, vet out. There's a lot of things that, what our, what our idea with this, I guess we would say, is that we are pairing an early starting person. We, we're talking about high school, college, um, or even an experienced person in network engineering or some other field that wants to get involved inside of security. So we'll call them kind of an entry level person wanting to get in and we're going to pair them with an experienced professional in the area of their interest. So if you're interested in a certain area of information security, we want to pair that mentee with a mentor in that area. They can ask questions about their day-to-day -day job. They can ask questions about their path, what they took. And they also will have a person that they can kind of just throw questions off of and say, hey, um, what, what do I need to do? What would you say is a recommendation for me to be able to get into the field? And that person that is actually working day-to-day -day in information security can help you out, um, give you those answers. So that's, that's really the benefit and that's what TAP is about, but we also want to make it a program that is going to have workshops and trainings. So um, we haven't really vetted out how we're going to go ahead and uh, you know how often. We want this to be very low key on the mentors because we don't want to, we don't want to wear people out, obviously, you know, we, we, um, we don't want to demand a lot of their time. We just want to make sure that people are interested in getting into the field, are able to communicate with a person that is in the field and actually doing day-to-day -day work um, to answer their questions. That, that's what TAP is about currently. But at the same time, we want to um, be able to provide some workshops and trainings, working with vendors and others that will be able to give you guys the hands-on training that you need when you go to the do job interview and they're like, well, have you ever worked with this? You can now say, well, once the program's going and you've gone into the workshops and worked with 
mentors and mentees together so that you're saying, hey, you know, I actually am part of this program. Yeah, I do know how that technology works. Yes, uh, you know, we spent two weeks really kicking the tires on that. That's something that um, I do understand. If, you know, I'm hired here, I can absolutely come in and be one leg up on understanding where we need to be. Um, so that really, that, that, that is the key, to be honest with you. Those are, those are the keys, that we want to have a mentor, mentoring a mentee, allowing them to understand what it is we do and answer the questions of if this is really what they want to do, um, as well as providing workshops and trainings. And um, that's, that's, that's it. That's the uh, TAP program. Currently, we are now up and active, so we... I see that some of you guys did sign up yesterday, but um, we made some changes to the uh, documents. But we're we're we are actually now wanting you guys to sign up. We do have mentors currently, some amazing mentors that you know I might have to throw my name in the mentee pot just because some of them are pretty amazing, and I would I would love to get their knowledge. But um, that's something that you know you guys will have access to, and and um. This first group, I can't say everyone that applies is going to be in this first group. A few, I would say this is going to take a little while. We're going to have a couple of pilot groups. We want to make sure we do this right. We want to make sure that we make this sustainable and that we provide value to the info, um, InfoSec community. I mean, that's the most important thing. We want to be able to give people coming out of college um, that leg up to be able to get the jobs that they want to get. and. Um, you know, help us out, most of us that are doing extra work and have like 60 positions open and we're doing the work of all those guys. So it's going to benefit everybody. But other than that, I guess I would uh, like to open it up for questions because we do want to have um, feedback on this and, and see where we want to take this. Um, it's going to be evolving. It's something that we're going to continually make changes about. And like I said, the first couple groups are definitely going to be pilot groups. But if you're interested in mentoring or being a mentee, I, I encourage you to go to the site and actually uh, fill out the documents for either the mentor or mentee, and we'll get back to you. And hopefully we can, we can make this program a success. Is there any questions? Can I get the mic to them? or You got it? On the Gurkhan tap, forward slash tap, it's on the, uh, at the bottom now. It wasn't there before, so we just rolled it out a couple days ago, and some individuals did sign up with using it, but right there, enrollment. Well, there's no deadline. Um, we just want to be able to take it in, and really, we're going to pair people up as people get information, we'll pair them up and somebody might talk to an individual in that certain field and be like, you know what, after talking to you, that is not what I want to do with my life. So then that mentor is now available. So we're, we're, we're going to just keep this fluid. Um, but we anticipate having the first group, um, you know, Chris told me not to put deadlines out there, but I, I'm saying we really want to get this out within, within the next three to six months, at least having mentors and mentees communicating in a program running. Um, we've been talking with a few vendors about workshops. I know that Semantic has come forward and they have a cyber um, range. It's kind of like Net Wars and some other stuff that they're willing to, hey, if we get the group together, we, we, can, we can maybe start out with something like that as the first workshop. I don't know that, but we will have something soon. You know, with that, um, we've kind of gone back and forth because obviously this should benefit West Michigan or Michigan and the surrounding areas, but we, we don't. Um, you know, we have a mentor that wants to be a mentee that I believe lives in Italy, and then there's another guy that's, you know, in, in uh, the UK. So w that's going to be difficult to say, but at the same time, we want to make sure that um, we are benefiting our local area 
I wouldn't say the guys that want to mentor, I would like a local guy to be able to talk to them and say, hey, yeah, this is what you do. I think I want to do that. So I wouldn't say there's any jurisdictional boundaries. How about we put that? We would like to work with that. So I, I would say apply. We will, we will communicate with you um, and figure out how we can make it work. No, no, there really isn't. Um, you know, if, as long as you have an interest. Uh, sorry, is there any restrictions on being a mentee? And no, there are not. We do not want to have any restrictions of that. We are really interested in going after like high school, college, and even, you know, professionals in, in IT or outside of IT. Just as long as you have an interest in it and you want to talk with somebody in the field, we're going to pair you up. You talk to that mentor. If the mentor doesn't believe that you're going to be able to do that, um, you know, we will have to work that out as well. I know Chris just walked out, but we also had talked about the mentor mentee working on a project. So if you get through all the loops or, yeah, this is something I really want to do. I do want to um, go into this field. You can actually work on a project where the mentor just kind of guides you through it. And I believe we're going to actually have a track where you guys can present that at GERCON the next, the following year, which would be really cool. That'd give you guys some presentation leadership skills and other areas. So we're really excited about it. And we really hope that you guys do, you know, just get your name in the hat at least and let us kind of play around with it. I know it's not solid, rock solid yet, but um, a program like this really can't be rock solid. It's got to kind of evolve with what InfoSec community needs. Any other questions? So the question is that will mentees be able to get a job afterwards and ultimately that's our goal. That's that's why we're doing this is so that we're training you guys to have the skills to be able to, or just soft and hard skills to be able to get that job that, I mean, I mean, there's no shortage of InfoSec jobs out there. Um, at Spectrum Health, we have multiple openings right now. And um, yeah, that is the goal. It'll be a talent pool for businesses to pull from or, you know, individuals that need some help in some area, consultants, whatever. You know, the, I, I would, I would, I shouldn't probably say that it is established, but um, there's, there's been a lot of, like myself, I, I kind of work with ISSA and we do have some individuals that are kind of leading this. We don't call ourselves a board or a committee, but we're kind of just the reviewing panel, I guess you would say. Um, if you're interested in that, definitely put that out there. We, you know, we will discuss it and see if we bring you in on deciding that. Um, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Anything else, or did I cover most of it? Yes, and uh, we don't have that. Um, we know we will have a lot more mentees than we will have mentors, but um, we are not going to overwork our mentors, so we're not going to say, hey, mentor, will you take 25 people? That's not what we're, we want to have one-on-ones. Honestly, we're going to just have to, uh, as the pool goes, we're just going to pair people up in the certain areas that they want to go, um, but it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to go one-on-one. -on -one. Definitely everyone that is in the group, though, will have access to the workshops, the trainings, any of the events that we hold um, outside of just the mentorship. Plus, you have access to us 
And if you really need to talk to somebody, you're, you know, you're going up for a job interview or something and you really want to just run some ideas by a mentor, we can make that happen. So that's a great question. We good? Everyone's going to put their name in the hat? Nope. As far as mentoring or? Right, right. Yep. Um, you know, I wouldn't put a spigot on it. Let, they can sign up. We will hopefully be able to get them um, communicating with someone to find out that that's what they want to do um, or somebody in their field. We, you know, our mentors, we, we have quite a few mentors so far. I shouldn't really say quite a few, but we, um, we have a lot of interest in it. And then we do have some solid um, mentors that will be great for that. Be able to, you know, students coming in saying, hey, I really want to do this. This is what I'm good at. This is what I'd like to do in the future. And then you talk it out, and they realize it's not what they were really thinking. They might want to go a different out. So I would just say tell them to sign up, and we will... We will take care of that. The more, the merrier for us, to be honest. We're okay with being overloaded on that. We need the talent. I mean, the jobs are out there. Uh, I, you know, like I said, with my team, we, we looked over two years, I believe, for a lead engineer that we just hired. And, you know, we still have an open architect position. We've got analysts. It's just, and we're just Spectrum Health. There's there's many others that are looking just as much. So, we've talked about that. Um, we don't have a definite answer on that currently, and we were thinking that um, in our we will have mentor mentee like meetings where we can actually allow them a time to you know we want to have a facility or a time where it's designated that we know the mentor will be there the mentee in case a mentee is like i really can't get a hold of him blah blah and it's like well he's incident response for ge so you're really not gonna move that often but he can actually put this time on and be there so um we're talking about it but i don't have a definite answer right now um, that might be something that goes on the docket. But we definitely would like those. Actually, I, you know, I'm going to write that one down and, and add it to the, the um, our current questions to answer. And if you guys have any others like that, just shoot it to the, um, the email on the bottom of the page. We always review it, go over it. That's actually something that we would, you know, want to look at if you guys have other ideas of how we can do things better. We are all about feedback. Uh, tools in which way? You, you must have heard of some of the uh, the proposed stuff. Well, we, we want to in the future be able, as this grows, we really would like this to, the background of this is, you know, a lot of organizations have been trying stuff like this and it just really hasn't worked out. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of energy that people have to put in. But we would like to have this kind of spin up under GERCON where we have a lot of interest and a lot of um, people that we can actually reach out to and grow the, I don't want to say a business, but uh, uh, an environment where, yeah, we can have a brick and mortar facility that we say, this is a designated GERCON tap location. It has a malware analysis lab. It has all of these different areas. You know, we aren't there and I don't want to get people excited on saying that's there because we've got things in the, um, in the works, I guess you'd say. There's a lot of, um, areas really interested in this and wanting to to donate and and fund stuff but i can't really answer that question and say yes we we will but 
our goal is to actually grow this into a real program that is continuous and sustainable on its own and has tools, has a facility where people go to and just learn. We have, we have, um, I don't know that I can talk about it, but um, we have talked to a few different areas about funding and different stuff that's available out there. But certainly, you know, put those questions out. I mean, we would, we will respond to them. Um, I just don't know in this form if I can say what we're working on, so. It will be kind of low key to begin. You know, we really want to have a solid foundation. We want this to be sustainable. We want this to be something that val that um, provides value to the InfoSec community. And we really think that we have the the right ingredients and the right uh, the right everything atmosphere and all right now because obviously this is a high demand area and. We do. We have a lot of interest. There's a lot of interest and there's a lot of support. So we haven't, I believe we will be fine. I just want to make sure that, you know, we officially opened it up today. And now you have the links to be able to sign up. And we'd love to hear from all of you guys. And hopefully that we can, you know, partner up. If you're looking for a mentor, get you a mentor. And if you want to be a mentor, that we can get you a mentee to kind of guide along on the path. I mean, that's one of the biggest problems in our field is people just don't understand either what it's about or how to get into it, and we want to answer those questions. Uh, I don't believe we'll be doing that. We, we definitely want to um, the group to continue growing. And just because you aren't yet with a partnered one-on-one -on -one with a mentor doesn't mean you can't go to the workshops, the trainings, the facilities. Like if we bring have a net wars evening that you we want you to have access to that. That's what you want. You want to be able to do what we do in infosec. So we're not we're not tapping it as you say. <laughs> And I tap in the tap program. I know. I know. I know. Any other questions? All right. Well, please do. Um, you know, sign up. And if I didn't answer your questions, you can send uh, feedback to the um, email, and I will respond to you directly. But I hope it's been beneficial, and it's something that sparked your interest. So thank you.